Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Yeah, we're doing, well, the very one I said we would do. Phantom from Space, starring Ted Cooper, Harry Landers, and Dick Sands. It's from 1953, black and white, and rated G. It's from the same studio, writer, and producer as Killers from Space that we recently reviewed, and it uh, was made the year before. Because Yellowstone Space is from 54. Uh, and you can really tell it's from the same people because it's another film where not a lot terribly happens. Uh, actually, I enjoy Killers from Space. Phantom from Space is boring as hell. And they're both blank from space. It's like they got a formula going on. So, here's the little read-up in the booklet from the movie set. Santa Monica is the landing place for a space-suited alien who kills two humans that attack him. Terrified by his menacing appearance, he removes the spacesuit to elude pursuit by federal authorities and turns out to be invisible. Yes, that's why he is the Phantom from space, because he is invisible. Our atmospheric conditions make it so that he's invisible. And that's all they had to say in the film to explain his invisibility to me. And I would have been like, okay... Cool. I can accept that for Superman's powers. I can accept that for this alien. But they didn't stop there. They tried to get more specific, and then it sounded stupid. They were like, oh, his body is silicon-based and not carbon-based. And since silicon makes glass, which is clear, <laughs> that makes the alien invisible. <laughs> Which is really fucking stupid. So apparently he can't communicate with them for several reasons. One, they can't figure out his code. Two, they can't see him, so he can't really do any gestures. And three, when he speaks, it's so high-pitched that only dogs can hear it. So, it's like impossible for him to communicate with the leads of the film the entire time. And eventually, like, I'm going to get into spoiler territory here. Eventually, they do see him by the end of the film, and he basically just looks like a human, but he has little black nubs on the sides of his head instead of ears, and his head's real bulbous, and he's completely hairless. <sighs> kind of a stereotypical, low-budget, old-timey alien, to be completely honest. He kind of looks like the to-serve-man aliens a little bit, sort of. Uh, from Twilight Zone. Uh... But he's not. So, the thing about the movie is there's a lot of talking. There is so much talking. They never shut the fuck up. And they don't say that much. Also, nothing really exciting happens. A chase scene's not that exciting when you can't see one of the parties in the chase. You know? Like, not much happens in this movie at all. It's just a bunch of people talking in an observatory that they run back and forth in the whole damn time. <laughs> He's got this robot monster-looking helmet that he has to breathe through. So most of the time you see him, it's just a floating helmet. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty stupid movie. But, that being said, the premise is kind of cool, right? Right? The premise is kind of cool, but, like, they probably should have gone for more horror, because I think this could make a really cool horror film. There's a killer alien that you can't see running around, but it turns out he's only killing in self-defense, and it becomes a more sympathetic creature, like it's doing all these things because it's desperate to get air to breathe. This could make a great horror film. But, uh, they didn't make it a great film. It sucks. It's <laughs> Phantom from Space is not good. I, I watched it as a kid once, and as a I like, I, I remember just the image of that floating helmet, him having to breathe through it, and the fact that he was invisible because of the atmosphere. I remembered all that, because that's the closest thing the film has to interesting. And I didn't remember anything else, because there's really nothing else. It's a pretty boring picture. I gotta say, it's a boring picture. So that's it for Phantom from Space, starring Ted Cooper, Harry Landers, and Dick Sands from 1953, black and white, rated G. Uh, 
It's nothing special. It's bad. It's... You can probably skip this one. Uh, like Killers from Space from before, that's cool. Phantom from Space... You can pass on Phantom from Space. So that's it, everyone. Thank you all very much for your support. Next time, we will probably do White Pongo and then The Snow Creature. I think I've kind of watched The Snow Creature before, but um, I have not seen White Pongo at all, so I'm going to have to get a load of that. I'd seen Killer from Space a couple times. I'd seen Phantom from Space, but next time we're doing a movie, I have not seen it all. White Pongo. It's about uh, an ape. <laughs> and it actually looks pretty interesting. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Uh, if you want to know more, if you want to hear my thoughts on more movies, you can definitely check out my Twitter. I tweet a lot about film. Uh, also, check out my uh, main channel where I make some of my own, or at least I'm going to try to get back into making some of my own. I haven't done it in a while. I still haven't finished Night of the Barn Beast because I can't find any cast or crew. <laughs> Not that it's a good time to be filming anyways. But that's it. Thank you all once again. See you all later.